Hello everyone, today I wanted to talk to you about a fascinating discovery that I made during my recent studies of ancient Middle Eastern civilization. I found out that the modern media of anime, which is currently centered in Japan, actually has its origins in Middle Eastern civilization dating as far back as 7000 BC at Kchital Hayuk. So I'm gonna start off with the oldest evidence, which is also the vaguest, but I still think it is worth mentioning. I'm gonna start with Chital Hayuk. Archaeologists found a number of fascinating statues, all with very round and voluptuous proportions. And this is, of course, the first um, link that we can make to modern anime. Now, I do have to mention that this sort of thick statues have been found in other ancient civilizations, very old ones, so I'm not certain if this trait of anime comes from the Middle East specifically, but I think it is very likely since other anime-related evidence has been found in the Middle East, which I will talk to you about later. I'm gonna talk about this statue in particular because it's got a very fascinating link to anime, I think. Basically, there's the typical, like, thick proportions, but the thing I notice here about this sort of lion goddess, as she's sometimes called, are the two little lions, and as we know, they are related to cats as well, and I think this might be one of the earliest links to um, cat girls, as we know them today, and... Um, yeah, I, I think it's fascinating because it's very likely that it did evolve from this area. But that's not everything we have. We move on a couple thousand years to the Sumerian civilizations where the best and most interesting evidence has been found in my opinion. Now take a look at these. These statues, as you can see, are very uncannily related to modern anime because of the big eyes but this is just one thing because archaeologists found out that on top of the black eyes there were probably other stones or other ornaments inlaid into the eyes so basically we're not getting the whole picture of how it did used to look like as a part of the eye is basically missing now I have made a kind of reconstruction as to how I think it could work uh, using different stones you know we, we could have had uh, lapis lazuli perhaps in late which would give um, interesting combinations um, so now of course there's a big question how did these early pre-anime features get all the way from the Middle East into Japan well first of all it's important to notice that the Sumerian Empire basically really led under this newly found obsession with these sort of anime styled statues. The empire collapsed and was basically divided into uh, a number of new empires. The Kingdom of Mari is really important because its archives actually give us more info into the downfall of the Sumerian Empire. It is known from the archives of Mari where we found many cuneiform tablets that do inform us about the decline in population most likely related to this newly found obsession of this pre-anime related statues. So the question remains, how did these features get out of the Middle East? There's a basic answer in the form of the Elamites and its capital Susa. The Elamites over the next centuries basically took lots of loot from the neighboring empires and took it back to their capital Susa where other artifacts such as the huge bust of Sargon of Akkad was found as well. Susa was basically a hub in the mountains that uh, allowed access for trade into the east. It is very likely that some of these statues were traded to the east and so found its way to India. Once these artifacts got to India, it is very likely that they reached the Himalaya area. Buddhism was spread over the Himalayas through the Silk Road to other lands such as China, Korea and even Japan. So it is very likely that along with Buddhism also these artifacts that uh, come from Susa and the Elamites were basically traded over the Silk Road all the way to Korea. The same way that Buddhism found its way to Japan, most likely these artifacts from Susa and the Elamites 
originating all the way back from the Sumerians, basically found its way to Japan. It's a very interesting discovery that I've made, and uh, I, th I think it's quite amazing that, you know, such a uh, modern medium basically has its roots in Middle Eastern civilization. I'd say bless the Sumerians for giving us anime and uh, thick anime grills. I'm not even gonna complain. There is, uh, there's no way you can relay the empirical evidence. It's all laid out right here. And uh, it's been fun. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments below and uh, I'm happy to discuss any hypothesis. Basically, uh, you know, saying that I'm full of shit. <laughs>